In today's video, I'll be visiting the ancient town of Hoi An, also known as Vietnam's most beautiful city, taking you through its many hidden alleys and sites. I'll also be eating quite a lot. Oh, and then there's this lady at some point that basically scams me. Anyway, make sure to watch till the end for a bow haul. Today I'm going to the like the ancient town now and I want to walk around all of it. Select your vehicle. Motorcycle. Bicycle. I'm gonna look like this poodle in like two minutes. First impressions about Hoi An at 1 p.m. is that it's completely empty, which is weird. I'm going to become a, a liquid form of myself because I'm guessing all the tourists and visitors are gonna come later on in the day. A lot of places are closed, which is fine because the main things that you can visit in Hoi An are open. My guy coming to the rescue. Give me the bow, bro. Can I have one? Thank you. Oof, this is way too hot, bro. Mm, but I love my bow. Okay, so this is the Japanese bridge. Wow. Yeah, we're gonna go here first. Hello. The Fung Hung house dates back to 1780 and has been occupied by the descendants of the same family ever since. Pung Hung means prosper and the house was named as such from the desire of its first owner who wanted to be a successful merchant. The house fuses together different architectural elements, the balcony and the door systems are Chinese, the roof is mostly Japanese style, and the rest of the house with its wooden ribs, beams and spars is Vietnamese style. Due to its location near the river, the house is prone to floods, which is why the attic floor has a trap door to facilitate the transportation of goods from the ground floor. This house is also constructed on 80 wood columns that stand on a lotus-shaped stone base that prevents moisture and termites from damaging them. Them. I'm reporting because something nice just happened. Uh, I was walking by and then a Vietnamese woman started talking to me. She was like, where are you from? I told her I was from Lebanon and she was like, really? I thought like you were half Vietnamese. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you look Asian. I mean, I don't think I look Asian in any way. I'll take that as an amazing compliment because for me, Vietnamese people are like some of the, honestly, the most beautiful people on this planet so far. Like, damn. L'extrait joli de sang, hein? Where are you from? Lebanon. Where? Uh, Middle East. Okay guys, I'm going to go to the house. 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 The Japanese bridge was built in 1593 and is kind of the symbol of Hoi An at this point. Back in the days, the city was a thriving merchant port inhabited by many Vietnamese, Japanese and Chinese merchants and the bridge was built to link the Japanese and Chinese quarters to one another. There's actually a cool story behind the bridge. Um, Japanese mythology speaks of an ancient monster that is responsible for earthquakes called Namazu. It is said that this animal has a head in Japan, a tail in India and a bag that crosses the waters of 
of Hoi An. His movements are said to cause earthquakes and floods, and the bridge was built to symbolize a magical sword pinning down Namazu's back as to immobilize him and prevent natural disasters in the area. The bridge is called the Japanese bridge because it was mainly built by the Japanese, but its architectural style is a combination of Vietnamese, Japanese, and Chinese cultures. By the way, I have a real question. Like, if anyone is watching this and is actually Southeast Asian, how do you not literally sweat 24-7? Legit question. Plus, you guys drive scooters with like sleeves and the mask and the capuchon to not get tanned. If I did that here, I would drive the scooter for like five minutes and then just drop dead. Don't tell me you were born that way and don't tell me you're used to it. So I visited three of the five historical sites. We'll check out the rest of the places. I've been walking in Hoi An for three hours. I know that maybe to you guys like the added thing is like, oh, 50 seconds, nice music, whatever. But it has been three hours. I'm going to link a list of all the places you can visit with your tickets. I personally chose to visit this one even though it's not that popular because the old man living inside of it was adorable and I'm a sucker for cute old people. So enjoy. Thick wood or thick wood? Thick wood? Thick wood. Apricot, tiny apricot, macau tea. The court yarn, court yarn, water, Australian, nothing thick for water. We have kitchen, yeah, kitchen. Make your chair at home. Thank you. The flood in 1964 reached this level, which is uh, taller than me. I'm 1 meter 72. Uh, 1964, 2007, 2009, 1999. Do you know what is gonna happen after 2022? It's gonna go up and up because we're fucking up the planet. Kao Lo is a traditional Hoi An dish. The story of its creation is said to be based on the fusion of the tastes of Hoi An's inhabitants of the past. The rice noodles are very chewy and grey-brown in color, reminiscent of Japanese buckwheat soba noodles. The pork is made Chinese style by simmering thin slices of it in soy sauce with five spices in a clay pot. And the garnish and leaves are typical Vietnamese ingredients used in most noodle dishes. Crispy lettuce, fresh herbs, bean sprouts, and deep fried dough or rice. The dish is also typically served with a cold, sweet and spicy chili jam. Cao Lo tastes divinely good and I recommend you try it out from street vendors or non-touristic restaurants as these usually serve the more authentic dish version. try something. I want to show you how many people are going to ask me to get a boat ride within a minute. Let's test it out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One boat, one boat. Thank you. Thank you.
okay, it's actually good, it's not that dramatic. In Vietnam, coconut milk is one of the most common ingredients used in food processing and drinks preparation since coconuts are grown almost everywhere in the country. As such, they found their way into coffee culture. Café Cotua, uh, this word on the screen, is an iced coffee with either a thick layer of condensed coconut milk or cream, which is also sometimes mixed in with coconut flesh. This concoction can be found in almost all coffee shops in Hoi An, but make sure that they don't add in normal milk if you're lactose intolerant. It's delicious, by the way. Guys, today is my last day in uh, Hoi An, and I wanted to come to this like famous banh mi place, but look. If you've watched any Hoi An related content, you've probably already heard of this famous banh mi place, Huang Banh Mi, whose sandwich Anthony Bourdain called this. That's a symphony in a sandwich. Or the best banh mi in Hoi An. The first thing you'll see is a long queue, but you probably won't spend more than 10 minutes in line. You could also completely avoid the line and go directly into the restaurants and eat inside, which is what I did. My verdict as someone who loves to eat and eats quite frequently and has also eaten a lot of banh mi a bit all over Vietnam is that the banh mi here is really, really good, but it's not like mind blowing, oh my god, good. I've tried banh mi from random street vendors in Hoi An during the night and it was as good as this one. However, I do think it's still worth to go check the place out because you're 100% guaranteed to get a good banh mi. Whereas when it comes to random street vendors, the bread might not always be crunchy, the meat might not always be well seasoned, the vegetable might not always be fresh. I tried two banh mi there just to make sure I was giving the restaurant a fair review. Both were good and worth every penny. The place deserves the hype, but not the over hype it gets, in my humble opinion, as a non-professional lover of food. For a place that is like extremely beautiful, it's really not that crowded. Um, at some point, there were like a sea of Instagram models taking pictures as they should, uh, but now it's relatively empty. Listen, there's nothing quite like a view and a beer to literally make anyone happy. As long as you can tolerate alcohol, you don't have an addictive personality and alcoholism doesn't run in your family. As long as you don't have these, cheers. that I want to eat some bao and after googling I found a place that seems to have like very nice bao it's in Hoi An obviously in this special portion you will see me transform into a bao cow okay let's try the black one <laughs> I don't know what's inside but it's delicious